Okay, so we want to draw the structure of ozone, which is O3 having three oxygen atoms. So how are we going to draw it? Okay, let's see. So oxygen has th uh, ozone has three oxygen atoms. So let's draw. This is one oxygen atom. This is another oxygen atom. And this is the third one. Okay, so an oxygen atom has uh, six valence electrons. So we, we're going to draw the six valence electrons of each oxygen atoms. Uh, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. And for this one also, one, two, three, four, five, six. And same for this, one, two, three, four, five, and six, okay? So, uh, in order to gain stability, each oxygen has to have eight electrons in its valence shell. As you know, uh, the electronic configuration of oxygen is, I'm sorry, it is 1s2, 2s2, and 2p4, okay? So, the valence shell, the second shell, has 4 plus 2, six electrons okay six electrons right and it must uh, gain plus two electrons right okay so this one has six ele uh, valence electrons and this one also has six valence electrons so what we can do is these two will create a double bond okay like this here one bond and the second one okay now this one has gained stability it has eight valence electrons this will this one also has eight valence electrons and we can count it as one two three four five six seven eight done now for this one one two three four five six seven eight so these two oxygen atoms have gained stability now what about this one because for the formation of ozone there are three oxygen atoms so how are we going to fit this one into uh, the whole molecule, the whole um, structure. Okay, so it has six valence electrons and these two have gained stability so they, they, they don't want to share their electrons or they, I mean, if they put their two electrons here and these one, this, this oxygen at atom also put his two electrons here, then it will be kind of like this. Uh, two from this one and two from this one and double bond but you'll see that this oxygen oxygen atom will actually have 10 valence electrons 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 10 so an oxygen in the second shell uh, the maximum valence valence electrons can be 10 so this is not possible so i'm going to erase it and rewrite it so in these cases what actually happens is a coordinate bond is formed okay my marker is not working i'll try wait a second okay yeah so what this oxygen atom will do is he will supply his two these two electrons to this oxygen atom and forming a coordinate bond okay so what will happen is these two electrons are kept here here and here okay and now this valence this oxygen atom has one two three four five six seven eight that's that was pretty known to us before also but now you can see this oxygen atom has one two three four five six seven eight and this bond is represented as if you can see if if, if i'm going to write this oxygen atom here here and this one here okay so it was having one two three four five six valence electrons and these two electrons are represented as this this is called a coordinate bond i hope you guys found this uh, video informative thank you so much we'll see you next time